The Vermont special session adjourned on June 29th. Governor Phil Scott called the session after vowing to veto the budget bill passed last month. Scott announced his intention to let the third version of the bill become law without his signature to prevent a government shutdown on July 1st. An unanticipated overnight fight over a minimum wage hike prolonged the adjournment of Delaware's legislature until after 8 a.m. Sunday, July 1st. The $816.3 million bond bill passed along mostly party lines after a compromise had been reached that will allow workers under age 18 to be paid up to 50 cents below the minimum wage. Texas Governor Greg Abbott set the special election for House District 52 for November 6th, the same day as the general election. The seat was vacated by Larry Gonzalez, who decided to retire early after previously announcing he would not seek another term. Montana lawmakers may hold a special session to address concerns over ballot initiatives, addressing mine regulations and tobacco taxes to extend the state's Medicaid expansion program. Ballots are due July 15th, and if the majority of lawmakers vote in favor, the special session would begin the following day. The North Carolina legislature adjourned on June 29th. The Republican-controlled General Assembly spent most of the session passing budget adjustments and overrode aid of Governor Roy Cooper's 10 vetoes. Senate Bill 655 changed the date primary elections are held from May to March, and the legislature is sending a voter identification mandate to be decided by voters in November. And North Carolina State Senator David Curtis resigned Saturday, June 30th, the day after the General Assembly adjourned. Curtis lost his seat in the May primary to Ted Alexander in the Republican primary election. That's all the news we have for this week. Don't forget to check out lobbycomply.com for all your government relations news. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. I'm John Sponarelli, and for all of us here at State and Federal Communications, we'll see you next week.